Hello, my name is Ann Brock. I'd like to show you a scenario now of using Remedy Force for a complex process, employee onboarding. Let's meet our, our characters today. Jackson works for a large corporation and does a lot of projects. In fact, he's been really overwhelmed lately. He is often on the go, traveling around the world, and he needs IT help anytime, any place. Emma is, uh, works for the support organization. and She's always looking for ways to leverage IT to make business go smoother and faster. And she looks for new ways to help her company be successful. What if a complicated process could be set up as repeatable workflow at your company? What if activities across multiple organizations could be coordinated centrally? And your service desk solution could be used by departments like HR facilities and other non-IT organizations. Let's see an example of how that looks. Jackson has been overwhelmed lately. He has a lot of projects going on, so he's been given a uh, headcount. He's allowed to hire somebody, and he did the interviews, and he's got somebody great that's going to be starting. But he needs to put in the request to get all the onboarding activities started. And he doesn't have time to chase around from department to department to try and make sure everything is going to happen. So Jackson pulls up the onboarding request so he can go ahead and get this employee onboarded. Jackson uh, is going to have her start in Atlanta, so he checks that location. And one thing about this onboarding form is it's configurable by, by you for your company. This is just a sample of an onboarding form. He needs to fill out everything that has an asterisk because that's a required field. So Mary Smith is going to be coming on board next week, pretty short time frame, but he's anxious for the help. And let's just say we're going to put her in development and we'll pick a department in there. So a department in position. Over here on the right, we have some fields that are dynamic. When I pick procure employee, computer for a new employee, because Mary's certainly going to need one, we get a ask, do we want a desktop or a laptop? She better have a laptop. She may be traveling as much as Jackson. If she's going to have mobile equipment, I can go ahead and pick that as well. And then I can pick her system requirements. A very flexible form that you can configure as needed for your particular onboarding needs. So Jackson's got all his information filled out, he submits it, now he's hoping this is getting into the queue and everything's going to be happening and he doesn't have to do a lot of email or phone calling. And he is exactly right. Let's see how this looks at from the, the, the fulfillment end. So Emma is logged into her console. Our request is on the queue now and Emma can go look at it. You can see that top one is the new employee request and she goes in and she takes a look at it and sees all the information. But what's really cool about this is she's going to look at the incident manifest. And what we're going to notice is a whole lot of tasks and change requests got created automatically based upon Jackson's selections on that onboarding form on the front end, that configurable form that's all data configuration. We were able to create a set of tasks and a set of changes that all get sent to different departments. So Emma can, or Emma or the HR person who's assigned the main ticket, who's ever in charge of this, can keep an eye on this, make sure everything's moving forward, and making sure Jackson doesn't have to be the one to call around. Everybody got alerts, everybody got notified, and now they can keep working their, their tasks and their changes. Of course, we have service level management tied into this, so if anything falls behind, people will get alerted as well. So what did we just show you? We showed you that a very complex process, such as employee onboarding, can actually be set up as repeatable workflow. So you set up the front end service request, people request it, and it's going to create the necessary tasks and changes. We also showed activities across multiple organizations, being able to be coordinated centrally and non-IT departments leveraging the service desk solution. So you're really leveraging a solution throughout the enterprise.